Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with Python on your Visual Studio Code editor using your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. So to start with, you need to have Python installed on your Windows 10 operating system. And also I'm hoping and expecting that you already have installed Visual Studio Code on your Windows 10 operating system. Now to check whether Python is installed, I'm going to right click on my Windows icon here and open the command prompt. And here I'm going to just type Python and then space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter. And you can see I have Python 3.7.4 installed on my Windows operating system. So make sure that Python is installed and also Visual Studio Code is installed. So you can see Visual Studio Code is already installed. So now the only thing remains is I need to open the Visual Studio Code and create my uh, project. So to start with, because uh, this is a Python development uh, kind of tutorial, I'm going to open the command prompt and I want to show you some more things. So you can uh, go to your chosen directory. Let's say I want to just create a project inside my desktop directory. So I'm going to just type uh, desktop, CD desktop, and then I'm going to create a directory using mkdir command and then uh, the name of your directory which you want to uh, create. So let's say I want to create a directory called work so i'm going to just give this command mkdir work which is going to create this directory in your uh, desktop right so you can cd to your work directory so now you are inside your work directory in the terminal so you can directly open visual studio code inside this directory using this command code space dot so just give this command and then press enter which is going to open Visual Studio Code on the same directory you can see. So now the work of this terminal is done. So I'm going to just close this terminal. So now we want to create some Python script and we want to run this Python script using Visual Studio Code. And also we want to debug our Python script using Visual Studio Code. So let's create a Python file first of all. So I'm going to just create a test.py file and then press enter, which is going to create this file. And as soon as you create this file inside Visual Studio Code, straight away this uh, message will pop up, which says the Python extension is recommended for this file type. So if you want to install it, you can just click on the install button. If you don't want to install it straight away from this message, you can also go to this last option, which is called the extensions and just click on this. Here also, you can search for Python inside this search box or you will see in the recommendation this uh, Python plugin also. So for example, I just type here Python and the first result here will be uh, the Python plugin extension. You can also read more about this extension by clicking on this extension, right? So this is the same extension which is recommended by Visual Studio Code to us, which is uh, this pop-up, right? So if you just click on the install button, it's going to install the Python extension and you can see how many number of time it is downloaded. It is downloaded about 62 million times. So it's the most popular or one of the most popular extensions which is provided by Microsoft. That's also important, right? So I'm going to just click on install button which is going to install this Python extension. You can see some more extensions also here. For example, Python for uh, Visual Studio Code which is also uh, relatively popular. You can see 1 million downloads of this extension and uh, you can see many more extensions when you uh, just type here python so for example python preview or python path so now you can see that this python extension is added to our visual studio code 
and at any time you can also uninstall this extension by clicking on the uninstall button. So once this uh, extension is installed, just go to your explorer once again. I'm going to just close this uh, uh, page from here. And now you can also see some tips and recommendations from your Visual Studio Code editor, which is to install PYLint extension. So this time I'm going to just directly click on this install button, which is going to install this uh, PYLint extension on uh, our Visual Studio Code. So you can see it's installing this uh, package and you will also observe that this package is just a pip package and you can see uh, this command is already uh, given on your terminal which is pip install pylint for this user. So if you want to install pylint manually you can also give this command using pip uh, so you can just write pip install pylint and this procedure is same as uh, what Visual Studio code is doing for us, right? I'm going to just close this uh, recommendation because we have already installed the Python extension for the Visual Studio code. And now you can see that the pylint extension is also installed. So you can see uh, this terminal is also available inside your Visual Studio code from where you can run your script directly. So I'm going to just close this uh, terminal for now and I'm going to show you how you can open it once again. You can go to the view and then from here you can just click on the terminal which is going to open the terminal. If you want to open multiple terminal, you can just click on this plus button and you can see there are multiple terminals open which you can switch uh, using this uh, menu bar from here, right? So let's uh, just create some uh, code. So I'm going to just uh, define, for example, msg for message is equal to hello world. Let's say we want to print hello world on the terminal. And then inside this uh, print function, I'm going to just pass my msg variable. So once you have done writing your code, you can right click on the same file. And then you will see this option, which says run Python in terminal which is going to run your Python script inside your terminal. So I'm going to just uh, click on this option and you can see it runs this uh, Python script using Python on your terminal and it prints hello world here. So you can see this output hello world. Also, if you want to increase the font size, you can just go to file and then uh, go to the preferences here and then click on settings, which is going to open this window and then you can go to the text editor here and then go to the font and I'm going to increase this font size to let's say 18 and then press enter which is going to increase this font size to 18. You can see the font size is now increased. You can also do it let's say 20 which is going to make this font little bit more bigger. So let me just close this window once again and let's concentrate on our Python script. Now let's try to do it manually. We have just uh, ran our script using uh, just right clicking on the file and then uh, choosing this option. But you can run your Python script using uh, the command line simply. So you can just write Python and the name of your script, which is a test in our case. And because it's uh, a PS terminal, which is a PowerShell terminal, that's why it's uh, adding this dot and uh, this backslash here. Otherwise, uh, we could have uh, just used test.py also on your Linux operating system and it will run fine also. So you can see the same result here. Also, you can see uh, on the left hand corner, this Python version, which is available for your Visual Studio code. So you can see uh, Python 3.7.4, 64-bit version is used by Visual Studio Code on our Windows 10 operating system. So now let's try to debug our code. So to debug our code, we just need to uh, give the breakpoint. Breakpoint you can give from here. So just click on uh, uh, the left bar here and then you can see the red dot. That means we have set the breakpoint and then you can just go to the debug options 
and right now there is no configuration here so when you click on uh, this uh, spanner option you can see this round icon here you will be able to uh, see the first option here it says python uh, file so you can uh, just click on this uh, python file which is going to create this launch.json file inside your project so now you can see there is a folder which is created which is called dot vs code and inside this dot vs code your launch dot json file is there but let's not just concentrate on this launch dot json file yet we want to debug our code so we just want to uh, click on the debug option and once you have clicked on the python file options you will be able to see python here or when you uh, drop this menu you will be able to see uh, python here once you have clicked this uh, open uh, launch.json file and then you can see uh, this uh, green button here so i'm going to just click on this green button which is going to start the debugging of the python script so debugger has been started and in some time you can see that our uh, debugger is uh, stopped at this breakpoint which we have set for our print function and on the left hand side you can see uh, the local variables here so there is only one local variable which we have defined which was uh, this message variable and also there are so many built-ins uh, which are available inside your standard python so those are also shown here if you want to watch any variable you can also write the name of that expression for example msg and then i'm going to just press enter and it's going to uh, give you the value of that expression so i have just added this expression and it shows me hello world also there is a call stack here and uh, you can see uh, the breakpoints here you can also see these button first button here is for the continue second is for step over third is for step into and the fourth button is for step out and this button is to restart your debugging and the last button is for stop your debugging so let's say i'm going to just uh, click on continue button which is going to just continue the script after the breakpoint and it's going to show us this output once again when you run your debugger your debugger is going to stop at this breakpoint which you have set so this is how you can uh, debug your code you can also restart your debugging by just pressing the restart button and it's going to restart your debugging so let's stop our debugging for now and let's go to our script once again now let's see how the intellisense work in uh, your visual studio code for python so we have declared this variable called msg when you write for example dot here you will be able to see bunch of functions which you can apply on your string variable for example capitalize or all these functions which are available here so let's say we want to apply this lower function and when you try to complete this function using this parenthesis it's also going to show you what this function is going to do so it's going to return the copy of the string converted to the lower case right so this is how you can uh, use the intellisense if the intellisense is not working you just need to relaunch your visual studio code because sometimes uh, you need to restart your visual studio code on your windows operating system after installing the extension so we have installed the python extension and if you don't restart it sometime it's uh, not going to work so try to restart your visual studio code and then try to use uh, this uh, intellisense and it's going to work most probably so this is how you can get started with python on your visual studio code editor inside your windows 10 operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video